When it comes to being effective in an emergency, rapid assessment skills are crucial. First, conduct a quick visual survey. In any emergency, you need to first make sure the environment is safe for you, your team, and anyone else here. When assessing for safety, ask yourself, are any immediate dangers present? What guidance needs to be given to family members who may be present? Next, form your initial impression of the patient. Remember, the initial impression is about suspicion. Ask yourself, does the patient look sick or unresponsive? Does the patient's skin appear pale, mottled, or cyanotic? Do they appear to be breathing? Is there severe, life-threatening bleeding? If there is, immediately stop it with any resources you have available. Then, quickly determine what additional resources are needed. Who is available to help? Do you need any additional equipment, such as an AED? Once you've finished your visual survey, check for responsiveness. This may be obvious from your initial impression. For example, the patient may be able to speak to you, or they may be moaning, crying, or moving around. If they are responsive, obtain consent and provide care as appropriate. However, if the patient appears unresponsive, follow the shout, tap, shout sequence. Are you okay? Mrs. Jones, are you okay? Observe for the patient's response to the stimulus. It may be subtle, some slight movement or momentary eye opening. If the patient is unresponsive, shout for somebody to activate the emergency response system and get an AED if you have not already done so. Next, make sure the unresponsive patient is face up. If they are face down, you must roll them onto their back, taking care not to create or worsen a suspected injury. Then, open the airway using the head tilt chin lift technique. Or, use a modified jaw thrust maneuver if a head, neck, or spinal injury is suspected. Simultaneously, check for breathing and a carotid pulse for at least 5 seconds, but no more than 10. 1-1000, 2-1000, 10. Let's break it down now. When you check for breathing, look to see if the patient's chest is rising and falling. Also, listen for escaping air and feel for breathing against the side of your cheek. When you're checking the pulse of an adult patient, palpate the carotid artery by sliding two fingers into the groove of the patient's neck. Be careful not to reach across the neck and obstruct the airway. Then, provide care based on the conditions found. 